So I was uh, mountain biking in Bolivia, uh, going down what's been termed the world's most dangerous road, um, or as the locals call it, uh, El Camino del Muerte, which means the death road. My name is Darren, and this is my RPL story. So I, the day started out at the top of the mountain, really, really excited, biking down vertical drops of about 500 feet, uh, at some points a thousand feet. Uh, couldn't see very far. Uh, so people would disappear into the mist or cars would appear out of the mist and you'd have to get to the side of the road quickly. And so I was coming around one of these corners and there was a uh, bus coming at me uh, rather quickly. Uh, unfortunately, this particular bus hit me and sent me tumbling down uh, this cliff. And, and I had suffered uh, some, some catastrophic injuries. For me, the major injury of this whole uh, event uh, certainly was the head trauma and uh, pretty devastating news. Uh, when, when you're told, you know, you may never walk, and you may never use your arms again, and you may never learn again. So, but for me, not being able to learn anything new, um, that was the hardest thing. The libraries have played a, a major part in my life. Without the library, I, I wouldn't have access to the different resources that, that I, would allow me to move forward. One of the things that I like the most about the RPL, the library has, has provided the books for me, and when they didn't have the books, I would request that they either buy the book, um, granted either through interlibrary loans, or they've actually purchased the book. And uh, that means I'm the first person who gets to read it, and they'll hold it for me. I just go in there, and I don't have to go searching through the shelves. It's right there. I find it, check it out, and uh, I go off and learn. Uh, you know, through, through RPL, I know that I have an unlimited opportunity to learn.